This video is an introduction to repeating things using the apply functions in R. Last time we learned about how to repeat things using vectorized functions, but not all functions in R are vectorized. And so we need a way to repeatedly run these functions on different sets of values. To do this, we can use the apply functions or the map function. We'll learn the apply family of functions since they are really common, uh, but the map function is very similar and just a sort of tidyverse style option that you can use as well. These functions take, at a minimum, two arguments. The first is a vector of values that we want to run the function on, and the second is the function that we want to run on each value in that vector. And the apply functions then apply the function to each item in the vector and return a vector or a list of the same size. And again, this doesn't require that the calculations work on vectors themselves. So let's look at a version of this, and we'll start uh, with the function that we used to look at vectorization last time. But now let's modify it so that it only calculates a mass above some minimum volume and returns NA if that volume is below the minimum. And so to do that, we're going to add a conditional statement here. We're going to add an if else. And so we'll say if parentheses our volume is greater than five, so that's our condition. And then if we've satisfied that condition, open our curly brackets, and I'm going to move this line uh, up here. And so this says, if the volume is greater than 5, calculate a mass using our equation. And then we'll say, else, curly brackets, mass is assigned the value of Na. And so if the volume is greater than 5, the function will calculate a mass using this function. If the volume is not greater than 5, it will assign mass an Na value, and then it will return that mass to the outer program. And we don't need that, so I'm going to get rid of it. We'll run that function so that we create it. And we should be able to see it hanging out over here. And if we now try to run this estmass function on a vector of volumes, like we did with our simpler version, uh, we'll see that it's not going to work like expected. And that's because our conditional statements are designed to work on a single value. This checks to see if a single volume is greater than 5. If we pass it a vector here, something more complicated happens, and we get this warning, which basically says your function's probably not going to do uh, what you want it to do. So in that case, then, we need a way to run functions like this repeatedly, and that's what we can do with the apply functions. And we're going to start with the sapply function. This function takes two arguments. The first is a single vector that has the values that we want to run some function on. And the second is the function that we want to apply to each element in that vector. And so if we use our volumes vector, as the first argument, and our est mass function as the second argument, s apply will run est mass once for each 
value in volumes, and then it will store those outputs uh, and return them to us. And so we can see now, uh, unlike before where we just got back a single value of NA, which was definitely not what we wanted, we've got back, we've got uh, an NA here because the first volume is less than five. We've got an estimated mass of 12.5 because the second volume is greater than five. And then we've got another NA because the third volume is less than five. And under the surface, S apply is basically just running est mass volume, est mass on the volumes vector in the first position. And then it's running est mass on the volumes vector in the second position. And then it's running est mass on the volumes vector in the third position. And it will do this for every position in volumes. So however long volumes is, it'll keep going. And then it will return all of this in a vector. So now I've just got uh, C to define our vector and then est mass volumes, one for each value in our volumes vector. And that's going to give us out exactly the same result. And that's because that's what S apply is doing under the surface. The S in S apply stands for simplify. And that means that it will return the simplest object possible. And in this case, that's a vector. That's basically the simplest object type for multiple objects that we have in R. If we change this, to L apply, the L stands for list, and this will return a list instead. Lists are a more complicated but more flexible data structure that we don't really talk about in this class, but it's useful to know the difference uh, between L apply, which will give us back this list that we then have to dig the items out of, versus S apply, which will give us back a vector, which we know what to do with. And it's also worth noting that both L apply and S apply uh, can also take a list as input, which will allow you to accomplish more complicated things. But again, the trade-off is having to deal with this more complicated data structure. So that's the idea behind the apply family of functions. They take, at a minimum, a vector that we want to do a calculation on repeatedly, and then a function, which is the function that we want to run on each element in that vector. They will then take the first value out of the vector, run the function on it, take the second value, run the function on it, and so on and return those values to us as either a vector if we're using S apply or a list if we're using L apply.